Hey, this is Matthew with Another World Terraria. Welcome to part two of my tutorial on how to build a bioactive grow bin. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to finish the ventilation. Let's talk about ventilation screens. These ventilation screens right here allow you to increase the airflow and modify the humidity levels for each bin individually. Uh, they come in different types and sizes. These ones right here, this is a two inch and this is a one inch. And it's important to get the ones that have these tabs right here. They're aluminum tabs. And that's because when you put them through the hole in the bin, you can fold these tabs over and it'll lock them in. In addition to the screen here, I also add a very fine mesh that you see here. It's called no -Seum Bug Screen. I add this because when I put new plants from new sources into their own tubs to quarantine them, if any insects such as fungus gnats happen to hatch out, having the bug screen mesh in the ventilation there will prevent them from spreading to the rest of my collection. Also, if any random insects happen to get into the house, it will prevent them from entering into the tubs and creating a problem. First, you're going to cut a piece of mesh about the size of the uh, vent here. It doesn't have to be the size or exactly or the shape because you're going to trim it after you insert this through the hole in the tub. I'm going to hold the ventilation screen firmly against the mesh here, and I'm going to take an extremely sharp X-Acto knife, and I'm going to go underneath, and you can't see it in, the, in this video, but I'm gonna go underneath here, and I'm gonna make a little slit where each of the little tabs is on the ventilation screen. Now I have the slits in the mesh, and I can slide these over the tabs. Now let's install the screen into the hole in the tub. All we need to do is make sure that we hold the bug screen in place over the tabs, like so, and we're just gonna slide this right through the hole that we drilled in the tub. Then you're gonna hold this firmly in place and with your other hand you're gonna go on the inside and fold the tabs back. Now we're gonna trim the mesh so that it is the same size as the screen here. All you need is an extremely sharp X-Acto blade. I would recommend using a new blade to make sure that it's as sharp as possible. And then you're going to pull this mesh uh, gently so that it's taut. Don't pull it too hard because it will rip. So you just pull it and then you just take the knife and you go around the edge and trim it and just move your finger along as you move around it to ensure that you pull it tight as you go around. As you can see here, I've done the small one inch screen in the exact same way as I did the two inch that you just saw me do. In the next video in the series, we're gonna add the substrate and plants.